Hi guys, welcome again. You've probably already seen the title of the video, Don't Be Scared, and that's my message for you with this video and for today. We are looking at an Olympia game played during my arena climb. Uh, we have Rodos to the left, Isa to the right. Normally, pretty challenging setup. Um, I think Rodos is favored here almost all the time. But we'll see how how we can do. So there is um, there is something that has to be said about playing for green probably. But we open <clears throat> with a hand where I think only the timber yard or the guard tower are playable. West trading post would be very nice, but we will have to see. And it would be very nice, but we didn't know where the where the duel would land. So this hand, um, really weird as well, I decided to go for the glassworks in hope to splash the green and be the guy that's actually doing something else other than like doing something in green, maybe discourage them. Also the battle is pretty important for the fire rage for the, a lot of cards, so maybe get some money off of it. I think that uh, Lumberyard is playable and Theater is here playable as well. And this one is a bit tricky. Uh, I think I decided to go Stokade. Just to have an advantage over Giza on the red. Um, my plan was to do like do better on red than Giza, splash some green, get some free cards and maybe get first or second with that play. There is possibility of going press into workshop and just going for more green-centric approach, um, I think that generally is not bad, like it's a strong consideration here. Uh, you, you just have a lot of options and that's what I want to highlight as well as Olympia, you you just, you are not shoehorned into one playstyle here. I think it's like Stokade is viable, Press is viable, you can think about Loom as well, you can go into heavier, um, like heavier green planning. That's that's entirely possible. So a lot of stuff. I think I went sto just stokade. Yep. And here <clears throat> we would be picking one of the green cards. Um, guard tower is a strong consideration, but I decided to go trading post. And this is also one thing I wanted to highlight. I think. Trading posts are very good for Olympia. Like when you can point it like right here, I think that's super good. Of course, we are losing our grip on, on red a little bit, but that's okay. And speaking about a grip on red, uh, I decided to go for barracks here. I'm hoping to, to get some, some money coming my way. And the workshop is here for the last hand, which is also pretty nice. Okay, so here, uh, no need to do anything fancy here, just archery range. We said A with red, let's say B. This is the hand that kinda saddens us. Uh, we can think about going for press here and um, just going for example for school when it comes back this is certainly a consideration uh, but we have a trading post that's nicely aligned with Rodos so let's just use the vineyard uh, here I already pre-selected sorry guys um, but uh, walls looks very nice this enables us to Hopefully win red all the game, so that's quite nice. They seem to be getting a lot of resources, so they, they should have some other plans. Uh, here, two possibilities, I think. We can even play stables and just, you know, claim that uh, we are green, but the problem is that uh, we will have eight, so with double red, Rodos is still winning, so I wouldn't necessarily do that. We can try to hide the foundry from uh, Rodos, which I think is a possibility. And we can, of course, uh, play the forum. The 
press is coming our way, there is a possibility that uh, Giza will not play the press, uh, seeing that um, the player already played marketplace. So that usually prevents you from wanting to play more gray. You just want to capitalize. Um, and he is not looking that great on his wonder stages, to be honest. Like they would, they are extremely costly for him. This is one of the problems with this matchup. Uh, if people steal the quarry from you and you don't get Caravanserai, you are in a lot of trouble. So I decided to go for the forum. But of course he plays as he probably should. Uh, here I just decided to go for the library. Uh, there is another green coming and it's a compass. Uh, but I prefer to have library over um, over uh, dispensary. And for the last card, I wouldn't mind playing that. I don't think it's a big mistake, but I think it's better to actually play this and still one of the better cards um, from our opponents. Rodos here um, looks decent. <clears throat> he won red cheaply. He's still maybe a threat to us uh, with the reds, but not necessarily. But he has a lot of resources. He will get a lot of money from us. So he's our main competition right now. But if the game would end right now, um, we would just narrowly lose. So um, we have some points hidden with this double combo that gives us two points. Uh, so let's let's bring it home. As you can see, in all of the ages, I didn't necessarily get like insane cards. Um, first age, mm, of course, Timberyard. Excellent card for us, but we would prefer the adult duel as well. Uh, I think the first eight was like okay, but it was nothing like special for us. In the second one, we didn't get Caravanserai, uh, obviously, which wouldn't couldn't use even, but but it's okay. Uh, like we we didn't get anything like crazy here, uh, and we open with third age, and it's still like mm, okay. We'll just use some cards. So here, Senate. That's what we are going for. And um, I think I maybe make a mistake here. Um, like knowing how the game played out, I like I know I made a mistake here. Um, I played Pantheon. Maybe this should have been Builders, but I was like, wow, really? Like, is he going to build that? I was expecting actually like a double red suicide or something like that from him. Because we know he's last already, so I, I didn't really know what, what to do here. Uh, I decided to go for kind of the safer play. That's like, okay, I will be second at least. Like, I think at this point, like, seeing how, how this game played, Giza is last already. Um, didn't get Caravanser, I got blocked on the Crucial Browns. Uh, didn't do anything on red, so... It's just one of those sad Giza games where you really know really soon that you will be last. Um, but we have a real chance in this game, and the, ch the chance that we were given is because of our aggressive play on the Reds. And worth noting that in the second round, so the most probably important round of the game, the most important age of the game, we were before Rados, so we have priority on red, and we used it qu quite well. And our splash to green is also proving to support some um, some points that are unavailable for a lot of other players. There are five cards, uh, five green cards in the last age. With the guild, there's like six. Um, that's almost the whole hand. So that's that's the stuff that Rodos can't use, and we can use three of them um, because three of them support our sets and uh, the other. Three also give us some points compared to Rados that, that are basically worse than throwing. But enough me talking about what we did well here. Uh, let's just go Pantheon and see how this unravels. So Rados push into red, and uh, that actually just draws us. Mm, at this point, he's narrowly ahead, but again, we ha he have hidden points. Uh, here, there are a couple of possibilities. We could, uh, for example, steal his haven here. Uh, but that just will push him to the siege workshop. So I don't think that's necessarily uh, a good idea. I decided to go for the lighthouse and mm, 
spoiler alert, I will make a huge, maybe not huge, but I will make a mistake soon. Uh, and I should just uh, focus on getting Academy or Lodge on the last hand with my Wonder Stage, probably. Or uh, maybe not Wonder Stage, just grab it if possible. So here he pushed another red. Now I was quite disappointed that I didn't hide it, but it's okay. Uh, this is a tricky hand. Nobody can get any value from, from it other than us. Um, I decided to go for Scientist Guild. Which I think is a small mistake. I shouldn't say like blunder. I, I thought it's a small mistake. Uh, I thought that if Rodos gains this, um, like the philosophers will be will be worse for him. But the problem with that is that I'm paying him three gold, which is quite a lot, and I still have like a green coming to me uh, from the from the last hand. So I think this should be either uh, the statue of Zeus here. Uh, or just university. I, I think that's that's just marginally better. Here he got this one, but he got stolen the haven, which is excellent. Um, so here, very easy downhole, I think. He played another red, which I think this is not necessary, and I think it even might lose him the the game here. And we just, um, like, we can, I think this is another mistake I made, but I think I calculated and I thought that I'm safe here. Um, like, he gets plus six over us. We currently have a nine, right? No, oh, 11 over him. So he gets plus six. Um, so... He still needs 5 to make up, and there is no card there that could make up so many points. Uh, we could play like Academy to give us 3 points, um, but and pay twice here, right? So um, let's do the quick math. So it's like we are losing 1 point, he's gaining 1 point, and uh, we are getting... Three points, so that's like one point. So I thought that throwing actually might be better. I would have to do the math here. Maybe I do that in the edit, or someone in the comments will do that. Uh, so, but I, I was quite sure that if I throw, I'm first, and he has a potential to have a green guild here. I doubt he does, but but there is a potential for that. So, so let's go. And. Like, he could have thrown the, the red, obviously, that would have been a better play. But even if he did, uh, I think he we still narrowly beat him. And the the whole problem, like, with, with this game, like, why, why we got in trouble is that he actually got the Builder's Guild. I'm not really sure how that happens. Like, if the plan for Giza was to build all the way, why just don't grab it? But, but it's okay. Like, Giza, Giza had huge, huge troubles in this game. Uh, in the third age, as you can see, we were quite troubled, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, we, we got some, some stuff, but not much. And now my dog is doing all the strange sounds. Hopefully you don't hear that. But I will just pet her, and hopefully everything will be okay. Uh, so uh, let me know, guys, how did you like it? Mm -hmm. And um, my message for you is that in games like this, try to not be scared of Rados, maybe. Like, think about pushing to six. And because if you push to six, he can only get five. Uh, if he gets all the other red cards, he's at five. At six, you are safe. Uh, six, as the like smallest perfect number, serves you quite well here. And it should be noted that it's a viable strategy to beating Rados. But again... Uh, do that if you are if Rodos is to your left. Uh, probably don't do that if he is to your <laughs> right. And with that in mind, see you in another video. Bye. Mm -hmm.